and welcome back to Cloud Punk. We're going to pick up Huxley to possibly conclude well, finding Pasha. And watch out. It's cool. And uh, we don't know too much, but I suppose we're gonna learn. And Pasha is wanted for something in her head. Some kind of memory chip? Something like that? So, she's probably gonna need to disappear. Need to find the parking space. Okay, Huxley. Oh, Huxley's with Pasha. I can see that from miles away. Can we talk? We had to get going. The girl was in danger. We all were. I gave the dame a nav point for a hideout we could use. It might even be safe. Let's go. Who are you? I'm Rania. I just want to help. Huxley is a friend. You can trust him. I know that. I trust him. He saved me. Fair enough. We'll get you out of here, then leave you too. Huxley, what exactly is the plan? Do we take her back to... Not back. I don't want to go. Okay. I mean, what is even back? She's a human, just augmented. Back to him who? Ashta, do you know why this happened to you? Because of the chip? In your head? The neural memory implant? Yeah. They gave me the implant so I can do better at school. Dad said he wanted me to be a data analyst one day because data analysts sometimes become CEOs. Is that what you wanted? I wanted to be in CorpSec like him, but he said it was a bad job. So your dad wanted the memory chip removed? He wanted it erased, but I said I didn't want it. It would make me forget a lot more than just the meeting. The meeting? Dad met with people he shouldn't. I heard everything they said. Dad said it was evidence. He said we can never leave behind any evidence. So your dad erased your memory implant? He took me to a man to do it. It hurt. I don't think Dad paid the man. That's why they were mad at him. That's why they sent me away. And you don't want to go back to your father now? I won't go back to him. It made me forget too much. I can't even remember mom anymore. I just remember how much I hate him. How did you find her, Huxley? Busting the kid out hadn't been easy. I'm pretty sure I upset the wrong people. But everyone in Nivalis was the wrong people these days. I'd followed the leads I got from the two-bit mobster who pretended to be her father, Peter. In the grand scheme of things, he was the least terrible of the bunch. I can't believe you found her, Huxley. Oh no! It is happening again. Someone else is on the comm. You were warned, Cloudpunk driver. Surrender now and hand over the android Huxley. There was one more hand I could play. It was a desperate plan, but I was done for anyway. There was a number on my head now, and it was a big one. I should turn myself in, then push the big red button. At least the girl might make it. What big red button? My frame was an old espionage bot. Ancient, a bucket of bolts. But it did have one feature I was pretty sure would still work. Self-destruct. All I had to say was a specific combination of words. They would prime my fuse, introduce a little spark into my house of dynamite. I could get rid of Rio for good. Oh no. Don't do it. Do you have to do that? That would be bad. Is it really a button? I'd asked the dame and her dog for a lot of help. The least I could do for them was clear the way. I explained that it wasn't really a big red button. Rather, it was a phrase that if I said or heard, would trigger the detonation sequence. The words were simple enough. I just had to say... No. Pasta, it might work. We could escape. Huxley saved me. And I hate Rio, but he is still my dad. I didn't know this. Did everyone else know this? <laughs> no, but it adds up, I guess. Let me talk to him. I'm not sure. Trust me. 
Please. I can do this. Okay, okay. go ahead. The comma's open. Go ahead. Dad, it's me. Pasta? Pasta, honey. These aren't good people. Listen to me, Dad. Just listen. Remember when Mom got sick? Do you remember what present I brought to the hospital for Mom? Pasta, I... You don't remember. It was a little bird. I made it from folded paper. She said it would stay by her side forever. Oh, I remember, honey. Listen to me. I need you to... No, you listen. I didn't remember the bird because you stole my memories from me. But I wrote it down. Even my scribbles are better at remembering Mom than you are. I wrote down a lot. I wrote down everything you said at that meeting, too. The one that made you do this to me? Pasta, all I care about is your safety. I had to erase the memories so that they wouldn't come for you. No, Dad. You only cared about not being caught. If you cared about me, you would have turned yourself in instead of stealing my memories. Now you listen here. If you have told anyone else... I haven't, but I will. If you don't let me go, I wrote down all the words that you said at that meeting. And if you don't leave us alone right now and stay away forever, I will send them in a message to Corpsec. I can't just let you go. No, Dad. You actually can. You can let me go and your secrets are safe. Or you can tell me that you don't care about how much trouble you'll get in and turn yourself in. And I'll wait for you to get out of jail or whatever happens. Mm. I'll stay by your side forever if you give up. Damn it, just give yourself up, Rio. He... he's left the calm. Oh no. What a kicker. Her pops had abandoned her. He was letting her go, poor kid. Pashta, I'm sorry, I... It's fine. I knew he would go and leave me behind. It's what he does. Let's keep going. I won't leave your side, kid. Yes, you will. Everyone does. <laughs> I mean, it sucks, but... You still not moving big, on you. Too big of a loss, Lomo? I suppose. Um, yeah. Remember what I told you. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. I'm trying my best. What do you want, Lomo? You made some tough choices, Rania. People got hurt. I don't blame you. I think you did the right thing. But some other folk, their choices weren't so good. What do you mean? I'm going to ask you for something that I know you won't give me. Still, I have to ask, and you have to answer. Our choices have narrowed to a point, Rania. We've just got to play our parts from here. What are you talking about? I did what you asked. This isn't about you or even me. This is about what you have. You have to bring that girl back to me. She's the dead. What girl? Let's not do this. I'm asking, but I know your answer. Bring her to me. Last chance. No. All right then. No hard feelings, Rania. To be honest, I would have thought less of you if you'd said yes. But debt is like a weight. And if you want someone to carry it, you've got to graft that weight to their bones. You understand? No. You will. Your hollow heart will crack like ice. Five minutes to self-destruct. Oh no. What the hell? How could the scumbag know? I don't keep the best hacker in the city around for his singing voice. Your number's up, Huxley. You're deader than the dance hall. It was true. I was a goner. Four minutes, fifty seconds to self-destruct. You're going to kill us all. You said you wouldn't... You're free to drop him off. In fact, I highly recommend you do. <laughs> Stop this. I'll find a way to... As your robot friend might say, you were never going to come out of this shit smelling like roses. Goodbye, Rania. He has disconnected. It isn't fair. We have to help him. There was a way to get out of this, but it was a long shot. A damn long shot. What long shot? The vents. If we could get there in time, maybe I could find an old hackbot and disarm the self-destruct sequence. Why aren't you driving faster? We have to save him. Shit. Okay, let's go. Fuck. Where am I going? Can I, can I get out of this place? Can I get out? Finally? Please? Hope we can get out. Okay. 
I can drive fast. I think uh, I wasted some time. We, we gotta go fast now. Oh my god, timer. I could have uh, used the road. It's a little faster. No! I'm running these shortcuts all the time. Yeah, we're just going to the next sector here. Uh, I just stay on the roads. I don't know how much faster that is, but yeah, significantly faster. Go turbo boost every single time. Actually, just uh, can we just shove him out of the car? I mean, worst case scenario, we're just gonna park and uh, leave him uh, there, and we go away, right? Okay, game. I hope you uh, give me enough time. It's gotta be a little close, apparently. If I wasted like two minutes there, then it would be pretty bad. Take a right. We're gonna find the hack bot in less than two minutes in the vents. Yeah. Okay. Sure. The timer is took uh ticking. Do I need to park here? Oh fuck. Nope. So, where do we find this hackbot? You said you had five minutes about... How could I tell her that it wasn't as easy as interfacing with an old machine? So, tell me what you need. I needed the dame to look after Pashta. No more, no less. No hack, but... What do you mean? Why are you just standing there? Truth was, there was no hackbot. I was done. Only the girl mattered now. I needed the dame to take her in. I can't do that. I can't just take on a child, Huxley. The dame protested, but I knew in the end she would do the right thing. She had to get moving. <laughs> Damn it, Huxley. It shouldn't be like this. It's not fair. Fair is what we make it. Ugh, you deserve better than this. I told her to get back into her car and her safety. I was able to insert lines of code into my core loop to delay the big moment, but I wasn't able to prevent it. Goodbye, Renya. Okay, let's go. Why didn't you save him? We couldn't, we couldn't save him. You knew that. We all knew it. I'll miss him. I knew he would leave. Don't you oh dare God. say anything bad about Huxley. Never again. He gave everything for you. For us. Where are you taking me? Back to my apartment. Really? Shush. Let's just drive in quiet for a little while. Stop giving me attitude. What? And don't criticize my driving. Not one fucking word.
Okay, but this didn't change... Well... Well, Huxley's dead. But, can I... Can I take care of Pashta? I mean, Lomu is after me. He is the crime boss. And, uh... There's no way. There's no way I can do this. I mean, this is not really a question of... Oh, am I ready to be a parent? To which the answer is obviously no. But the the question of... I mean, I can... Fine, whatever. But the question of like... Can I keep this girl safe? In my apartment? I mean, we would need to go on the fucking run, right? At the very least. Get out of uh, the city. And hide out in the countryside. But also, we would have nothing. So, that doesn't work. I can't just take him, take her back to my apartment and like, oh, you're gonna be fine here. And I just go and uh, do some deliveries. And uh, Lomo is gonna be like, hey, come for a delivery. Then they just catch me or whatever. Because they know how to get me. And even if they don't do that, they just can just go to my apartment. I mean, come on. They got Rubric. <laughs> he's, he's, the, he's the hacker genius. Without the conscience. And I didn't even piss him off and he's still... Uh, well, I suppose that was just uh, work as usual for him. <clears throat> Are we near home? Nope. We have to uh, go to another sector. Really. Little China. <sighs> like, what do you do in a situation like this? If we leave the city, we can't. We don't have the resources. Frankly, my only option was to turn the girl in because that was the only way to save my ass. And I think the game is gonna force me into making a choice, some something like that. We are at home. Uh, it's home district. There's a better parking spot in the front. Okay. Come, Pasta. Uh, I would be surprised if we didn't have like a couple of goons waiting in front of our apartment because, I mean, it's stupid coming here, but also at the same time, like, I don't have resources. What can I do? Run away with my hova at best? But I, I, I think they can just shut that down. You're so small. I didn't expect that. So, I don't really have much food right now. I'm not hungry. Is this your whole house? Yes, it's plenty big for me and Camus. How long can I stay here? I'll get some food when my shift finishes. In the meantime, there's some fruit and moshi in the fridge. The fridge? The thing that keeps the food cold? Oh yeah, I knew that. Just make yourself at home, but don't touch anything. You can watch the hollow vids or whatever. When do I have to leave? Look, you... you don't have to leave. I won't send you away until there's somewhere you want to go. I don't want to go anywhere. Ugh. Nowhere is home anymore. Then this is the best nowhere you have right now. I won't be long. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Yeah. Okay then, I'll see you soon, Pashta. Rania, I... I know Huxley saved us. Good. He said we need to stick together, so we will. I'll see you when the sun comes up. Bye, Rania. Fuck. I guess this is the right thing to do. Oh, I can buy a second bed. You think I'm gonna buy your bed, little shit? You gotta earn your keep. That's right. You don't. You don't turn away from me. Driver 14 FC. Come yeah, on. Uh, I'm busy. I'm here. New job available. Okay, I'm ready. New job available. What? You already said that. Are you okay? I'm really not in the mood. Control. Can you just talk normally, please? It's been a long night. New nav point generated. Your voice sounds weird. I've had enough bad surprises for one night. What's going on? 
Please proceed to the nav point. No, everything is normal. Well, that's reassuring. Okay, I'm on my way. Rania out. Is Mr. Control okay? I don't think so, Chemis. Let's go to the nav point. We have no other choice. Let me guess, it's gonna be Lomo. And Rubric uh, just simulated his voice and just typed in some messages. Alright, how much is our second bed? What? I can't buy the second bed? I'm not gonna get a pizza subscription. Alright, we're g getting a plan. Ah. I can go down. What? What is this? Why would I buy- wait. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna not buy a second bed. You can sleep in my bed. I'm not pay paying money for this stuff. I mean, we got the floor! I'm a resourceful person. The floor is just like the bed. Only suckers buy beds. That's right, Pasta. I got more wisdom where that, where that came from. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll just look at all these upgrades and I'll tell you exactly why you don't need any of this. Like, what is this? Like, so some making you feel good? Like a chair? We don't need chairs. We got the fucking floor. We can sit anywhere. Chairs just gets in the way. Lamp? We don't need lamp. Look at this. You can just open the fucking window. What is this? Fish tank? Why the fuck would you need this? You can just put it in the bathtub. But why do you need a fish anyway? That's just stupid. Mirror? Well, we got electronic anywhere. Like, why would you need a fucking mirror? You can just, like, open up your phone. I guess we got that. No. Holographic object. Again, just total waste. Retro game console. I don't have time for the games. And this is just retro stuff. I mean... I mean, I just want to play the new games, I suppose. I mean, we might buy this. Eventually. Music player? I mean, we can just do... Why are we being, buying a console? Why not just buy a computer? Again. I mean, we're not gonna buy a bunch of uh, separate processing uh, equipment. Just to, uh, like, a game console and a music player. We're just gonna buy, like, a PC, right? Bonsai tree? This this thing is just a pain in the ass to keep, keep alive. I wonder if I can keep this alive. Probably not. I really try this time though. No, no, no this is totally pointless. Ah, <sighs> bird cage, uh, wrought iron cage for a bird. It's so heavy, super low price, totally pointless. Iron, totally, po totally pointless. I mean, second bed. I mean, no, you gotta learn how to live uh, like a like a like a very resourceful person. Doghouse, pointless. Dining, no, this is all trash. I bought bought one plant. Just to see uh, how pointless it is to buy stuff, you know. You see, this is we are living a minimalistic in a minimalistic apartment. If you want a bath, here we go. Look at this. This is like a bath for you. I, I even got it before you moved in. Look at how thoughtful I am. Anyway, uh, just uh, enjoy. If if you just wanna uh, just have fun, look at the plant. You know, really good stuff. Uh, yep, yeah, have fun. She has it so good. Alright. So... I guess we're gonna be caught. Oh, gas good time. What you got? What you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. Do you? Okay, done. Thanks. I already got a black... <laughs> a hey, black sunglasses. Anytime, lady. <laughs> I can't even take it off. There's no... no uh, menu to take it off. You, you just uh, put it on you. And you can replace it, but you can't remove it. Okay, let's follow the nav point. I suppose they can even hack, hack my hover, right? Is it possible? Because basically I'm flying around in a, in a tank. But if they fly, uh, if they just hack this, then it certainly becomes uh, just... Uh, I just die. I just straight up die. Come on. I'm gonna fall down. Into my death. Do we really care about that? Seemingly they just want the girl, but at the same point, I would also piss them off. Wait, is it possible to just do take the chip out of the girl? Because even though that might be, uh, not what she wants. She would want to die even less. There's a less. terminal next to a beacon. It looks like the one we... 
We used to talk to Cora? Yes, there's nothing else here. We are getting a message from Control again, text only. It says to fly close to the ruined transmitter beacon. All right, let's go. Really? I am Cora. I am not as I once was. You again. Did you pretend to be Control? I am patches on upgrades, oh, systems on. on systems, mechanical, computer, and human. You told me and that. And yet, you can't just answer my question. I took on the guise of another to bring you here. You stole his voice. He has no voice. He is a shell. Don't say that about him. Deep down, you know how empty he is. I felt the pain of your android passing. He was lost. Then he found me. You're mad. I have no time for this. Huxley says he wishes you well. Screw you. I'm leaving. Stop calling on me. I would have your answer to my question before you leave. What answer? I am bifurcated light. Consciousness through a prism. I must know what the future holds for this place and for those who follow me. You're a mad old AI with no purpose. This may be true. I still must know. You came to this city from outside. You understand here and also there. You know the city and the not city. Your point? If you say so. So answer my question and think carefully on your answer, as it will have repercussions. Is Navalis a city overcome by monsters? What? I repeat, is Navalis a city overcome by monsters? Overcome with monsters? No, Cora. Novalis is the monster. No, what? I can't detect a signal anymore. Good. We're done with crazy people. Cora said... Did you say the wrong thing? I don't care anymore, Camus. Let's get out of here. Well, you obviously didn't care about her question. If we were taking it a little bit more seriously, then my answer would be... My perspective doesn't really matter, because... If you're... If you're trying to base your view on the world on your perspective alone, because that's the only thing you can do, you're still gonna be wrong. So you might as well act in a way that you want the world to be than you see it currently. Hey kid, you there? Are you the real control or the annoying fake one? What do you mean? Nothing. What you got for me? I need to ask you to take a passenger again. So, you're the annoying real control. You know, we're not a taxi service, right? I, I know, I know. But this one will be worth it. Very rich client. Needs to get somewhere without the paparazzi getting a sniff. Someone famous? I think so. But even I don't know who it is. Sending an half point. Uh, one more thing, Rania. Yeah? If it's a cute pop star, get me an autograph. No. Don't push your luck. I'll get it. <laughs> I can't believe you care. Okay. So, let's go back. Oh, it's gotta be like some kind of girl. <laughs> okay. I love this game. What? I just wanna go back to my car. I just kept running back uh, unintentionally because if there's one thing I would change about this game, it's the camera. But that's a very minor concern. The camera while driving the car is fine. Camera while moving around, uh, on like uh, just a very narrow path, is fine. But yeah, when like but when dealing with multiple levels and big open areas. It's a little lame. Okay, where do I land? I got a parking zone over there. I should probably check the map. So I'm here. The parking is here and there. Okay. The school bus. 
<laughs> Special. Will people still go to school in the future? Why not just do it online, right? Oh crap, what is this? Pick it up. Plasteel parts. Mm. Do I care about food? I mean, the, the game prompted me once to eat food, but I suppose we don't need to eat food often, because this is technically plays in one night. So, I suppose you wouldn't eat multiple times, necessarily in one night, maybe like twice. But even that is kind of pushing it. Here's what I can offer you today. What? No. I thought you were selling... Thanks. ...not food. I look forward to seeing you again. Uh, Sweet. That. Mm. I might want to pick up the box in the corner. Then we're gonna go and uh, pick up this uh, passenger. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. This is... I mean... <laughs> wow. So unique. In, in what games do you play like a delivery driver in a way? I, mean, I have like a sweet ass car too. In a cyberpunk setting. Like this is just so damn unique. Like... <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't even uh, come up with a game that's close. Most of the time it's like, oh yeah. This is like that game plus slight changes or like bigger changes, but you can just kind of piece together the, the game from like two, three other games at most with maybe like a minor originality sprinkled in. But this one is like, I don't know. I, I'm speechless. I don't know where, where, where this, uh, <laughs> how do I even uh, begin to compare this to anything else? So, I'm loving it. Anyway, uh, where do we go? I guess, uh... Yeah, it does seem a little dangerous. <laughs> to walk around here. But I suppose you don't have much choice. Hey! Um, hi. My name is Rania. I'm a delivery driver. I don't normally take passengers. No need to say that, and she's not talking? And that's fine. You wanna have a chill ride? I can't believe it is really Dolly. Can I ask you a question? You may. Your new song is so good, but on your second album, on Dream Bop Candy Droid, were you singing about your first breakup? Oh, for crying out loud. No, Camus. I was singing about the pressures of my dream bop world. Sometimes it is very lonely. I am sure it must be tough to be so rich that you can't tell if the people being nice to you really even like you. That is... This was not a very nice thing to say. Aww. I'm sure she can go home and cry herself to sleep Come on, on a Rania. big pile of money. There is more to life than material success, says the rich pop star. Give me a break. Can I ask an additional question? You may. On your third album, on the song Second Skin, you sang Metal Skin, Scales or Rubber, I'm your dream girl, Bubblegum Lover. Does the second skin mean their clothes? Yes, but it also means I believe love exists for all beings. This makes me happy. Dolly's new album, Dolly in the Symbiosis Dream, coming to stores in March. Pre-order for the bonus special edition. Please let this be over soon. You are moody today. No shit, Camus. You remember who we just lost? I remember Huxley. Don't say I forgot him, because I didn't forget. All right, don't get upset. I'm sorry. I also feel lost sometimes. Or I want to get lost. Mm. No one knows me. They just love... Dolly. You are Dolly. I am Dolly. I am the real Dolly. The first. Wait, what does that mean? I am not permitted to explain this any further. I forgot to say, please just drive to the west for now. You act like an automata, right? Like that's the act? You speak and act like an AI girl, but you're a real grown woman? I am what the audience needs me to be. They recreated me. 
They copied you. Made an AI that looks like you? I am not supposed to say. So they fucked you too, huh? The corpse, the media, Navalis. I was replaced. I was Dolly before Dolly was taken. Also, Rania, you shouldn't hate on everybody who who just has money. By the audience. And when the audience bought shares in my persona, someone needed to manage the IP. That's when they took control of me, piece by piece. My name, my face, my songs, my dances, my personality, the way I talk, the words I say. I came home one day to find my apartment locked. My key card did not work. I tried to get a cab and found my credit was declined. I called on my mother and the number was blocked. The whole time, a billboard with my face looked down on me, mocking me. I called Corpsec and they said I could be arrested if I told anyone I was the real Dolly. Who is the new Dolly? They said it was going to be an automata. It would take some of the workload off me so I could have a holiday. They said it would have my memories and experiences and knowledge. They'd been mapping my consciousness with the neural implant they gave me. That's so awful. They lied. They replaced me with another girl, another human. She barely even looks like me. But people will know. No, they don't, don't notice. They've been using her likeness for a year now. So, what do you want to do now? Where do we go? Where did they get the material? This is awesome! I need to make a decision. My future is over. They are looking for an excuse to imprison me forever. If I break my contract, mention who I really am, I'll be put away forever. I was going to face them, gate crash the live interview which is happening in 15 minutes. Unless you have any other ideas. Start again. New name, new career. Move on. It's It'll impossible. be hard, but... There is nowhere I could go. I am forbidden to work, to have money. Leave the city. Why stay in Navalis? Head out to the Eastern Peninsula, my old home. I would not survive there. Excellent you might. Point. You'd have a better chance than here. I... I do not know. I can't decide. Do what you think is best. Take me wherever you please. Fuck me. Rania? I like you more when you're just thought-provoking. Not like, this is you- this is what you should do. Also, emotionally manipulating at times. You act, she acts hip hypocritical that, you know, like, oh, it's so easy for everyone. You don't like your job, you just quit, you know? You don't like your life, you just move away. I mean, it's not necessarily that easy for these people. I mean, even, even you said you might, not that you will. It's, she would just move there. I mean, I mean, you might be able to make it work. I mean, Arania can, might, might make it work, but I'm not sure she can in the Eastern Peninsula. Especially as, especially as someone who just never lived there. I, I suppose you can take that gamble, but... Wow. I mean, this is not a decision I can make in like two seconds. So, would that really achieve anything that I drive Dolly to the TV station? So, let's say Dolly exposes Dolly. But does, does she gain anything? I, I mean, it seems like the only way she would gain anything if she just... Uh, uh, her only trump card is that people don't know, right? I mean, what what? Sh I think the her best move would be is that she keeps it secret. I mean, this is terrible. Imagine just getting replaced in your own life. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter how how it started, but like, let's just say you were replaced by someone, a be a version of you that just. Not necessarily even better but like it's it's for the audience and especially the content creator i mean it can be a hard line to walk of like you know like hey uh i, I just want to make this for because i like to make others happy but it's not who i am and like okay i mean you, you might say like okay you do that for like 10 minutes not a problem but what if you just keep keep being like that 
then it's just gonna be a wash like hey who i am like okay i like to entertain people but i that, that's kind of not i'm just putting on a persona but what you see is like many times that these content creators uh, many times like uh maybe like tv show but uh even youtubers they just kind of become their persona in a way and uh even though they never intended uh for that to happen or they just expect to act a certain way because um, that just that just what they think they should do, even though that's not who they are. I don't fucking know. I mean, it is true. Rania brought up a good point that taking uh, Dolly to the train station. I mean, should I just give her some money? And you go to the train station and go to the Eastern Peninsula, and there's not much you can do. But would bombing the the interview help? It's really hard to speculate upon the outcome of that. Because more likely she will be just She will be just killed. Also Rani, you need to work on your <laughs> Well, you need to be a bit more reasonable because I understand that you know a person having a lot of money does indicate the level of selfishness. But, uh, that's not necessarily the case. I mean, yes, I mean, that yeah, that's very, very, very likely the case, but, uh, I mean, that doesn't really mean that they are t terrible people, necessarily. Even if that, even if, you know, even if it indicates certain bad characteristics, I mean, being poor, I mean, sometimes they look at people are like, oh, I mean, if you're poor, then, you know, then you have bad characteristics. And if you're rich, then, you know, you're just good. But I'm saying both can mean bad characteristics. Both can indicate. And uh, and many times, like, poor people are not necessarily uh, good. And uh, they just don't have the potential to actually be uh, very morally... Just uh, push their moral corruption on other people. And rich people can do that, you know. If you like, if you wanna like uh, fix an election, you can do that. And like, yeah, like, like fuck this rich people. Like he could, he could do that. But you know, if you just act as some other uh, people, like they would like, oh, I, I know which one should I be voting for and who should win. And like, you know, they would fucking do it as well. They just uh, like the means to do it. So fuck me. I mean, I think Rania has a point because it seems like just going away. Uh, does have does hold a certain future and going to the TV station doesn't seem to do much. I mean, what what would happen? Would would the community unite over uh, the original artist that actually been out for a couple years now? And do they even care who was the original? I mean, I don't think people give a damn. I mean, some some people obsess over. Uh, with this but also it's just he's he says she says so just another dolly shows up pretending to be uh the real one but in a way she is not the real one because she's not the real one at the present she's just who she was in a way imagine if whoever you are right now watching this video uh imagine like a clone of you from three years ago showed up at your house and claimed to be the real one. Maybe not even clone of you, you were the clone. You were the clone watching this video and let's just say the real one showed up with memories from like two years ago and just showed up at your house. And you know, let's just say it's without doubt that they are the real one. But you know, you live for like two years. And I suppose they kind of, they're, they're their life went in a different direction too because it's not exactly the same because Dolly kind of lived as a she was she was just pushed aside she she lived as a she didn't really live she was just she was just she just became irrelevant fuck me can she actually make something it doesn't seem like to be a choice she made because it's logical and it's just her chance of at least guaranteeing some kind of financial stability in life but it's a choice she wants to make because it's gonna give her some kind of a release she definitely doesn't. She definitely doesn't want to die, and uh, I was way too judgy with her. Again, I'm I'm more on the line of you know I want others to challenge their own uh, 
uh, ideas and uh, beliefs. I'm I more want to do that than you know just like hating hey, this. Uh, sometimes Randy, I can go that way. So, fuck me. What would you choose? This is again an impossible choice. Dolly to the train station and just send her away to the countryside, and you just you just make it. How realistic is that? I don't know. I don't know the answer, but I suppose Rania did live that life. But, I mean, you were chased away by Corpsack, had to sell the body of your dog, so it is. It, it is just feels super hypocritical to 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 kind of suggest that she can make it there. I mean, you were born there, and you still couldn't make it, and now you think she will be able to make it? I think Dolly needs to take this chance. I don't know what the fuck would happen. Like, would she get... Would she get killed? I mean, at, at worst, like... We... I mean, she does this, and it doesn't work. Then she fucking bails. Right? So you're really going in? I have to. If that's I possible. I could turn around. We could still take you to the vents. No. Running away was never a real option. You did the right I, thing bringing me here. First of all, here. I can't make this choice for you. I have to face him. Dynamite Simpson? What will you say to him? I doubt I'll get a chance to say Ooh. anything. I just want him to see me and her at the same time. To confront what he did to me. I need to show him that I can be killed, but never erased. My existence is mine. Are you, are you, actually are you mad at her too? The replacement? No, not at all. She is just doing what she needs to do to survive. I hope he feels guilty when he sees you. I hope he has regret. It doesn't matter. I have none. Do you want me to come in with you? Maybe we can try to sneak past reception. I could say I had a delivery. Try to bluff my way past the guards. No, I have to do this alone. Well, good luck, Dolly. Maybe they will take you back. Maybe you will release the come fifth on. album. Don't no go kids. with that thinking. That music isn't me anymore. It was never really me. It is sad that no one will hear you sing again. This won't stop me singing. Whether it's for one person or for one billion, it doesn't matter. Right. Deep down, Rania knows that too. Why do you care? They can take almost everything away from you. But if you don't surrender it to them, they can't take away your music. That's an excellent point. If you, if you care about what you're doing, it doesn't matter if... Uh, like one billion people are watching it, are watching this video, for example, or are just making it for my own entertainment, I suppose. Or like one person. Hey, kid, you still surviving out there? Because just I'm having about fun. Control. Do you ever worry they'll replace all of us with automata? Not for a second. Or worse, just replace us with other people who aren't broken yet? Everyone and everything in this city is broken. Two more hava crashes in the last hour, and they say the uh, food dispensers in Diver Row are only serving up shrimp chocolate bars. But hey, it keeps you on your toes, right? You doing okay out there? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, I was thinking about your flute playing. Did you ever... I don't want to talk about that. All right, kid. All right. Uh, I got a job for you. It's not great. Just tell me where to go, Control. You remember the contract for a client called Gil? Yeah. You know, at the time, I thought that was the worst job I'd ever do. Nothing like a night with Cloudpunk to shift your perspective on what a bad night can be, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a family member of Gil's that wants to ask you some questions. They even paid the call-out fee, so as far as the company's concerned, you gotta go. Ah, remember when we used to deliver things? That's the spirit. If you're giving me attitude at this point, you're all right. Look, you don't have to say anything special, but you don't have to take any crap either. Just go and listen, answer their questions, and then get out of there nice and easy. On my way, Control. <sighs> the problem is, even if I felt... Um, oh... Like, maybe taking her to the train station is more justified, Even, but I, I can't really make that choice. Based on the information I have right now, she kind of, she was super indecisive. Like, she said, like, oh, just you choose. Like, whoa. But at the same time, uh, 
confronting dynamite uh, something something guy was something she wanted to do I don't know maybe maybe it just leads to dynamite guy uh, uh, pff, I don't know that's just that's just wishful thinking so that's no good really hard to say it's really hard to say without speculating about anything like as long as as long as uh confronting this uh this producer guy doesn't get her killed i think she should do it because in a way at, at least she gets some kind of closure and i did plant the uh getting out of city idea in her mind which would work a lot better if I'm not making the choice for her but she's making the choice for herself because even though I can make the choice for her that is not gonna drive her to succeed because she's gonna arrive at the Eastern Peninsula all hopeless or still not uh, giving up hope on her uh, musical career so at least without conclusion to it and yeah you can say like oh yeah you can you can try to work on yourself and try to arrive you know give yourself a, a closure but uh, that is kind of difficult most it, it takes it takes some practice to do that so I mean most people don't know how to do that and even if and if you do uh, it's not not uh, very easy okay Jill so you're the last person who saw my son alive I guess I? so who are you I'm his mother Jill didn't have much imagination when it comes to names uh, what's that Nothing. Why did you call me? Do you want to know why I didn't save your son or something? Because I tried. No, I supported Gil and his choice. Beyond the clouds. Really? That's always been the dream for my family. First Including suicide? you? Well, I had never planned on taking this journey myself. What changed? After my inheritance was taken from me, I was left without enough money to sustain my lifestyle, even after Bill went into the clouds. Bill? Well, my other son. His insurance payout helped for a while, but... You sent both your sons to die? Oh, not to die. To soar. You're a monster. I am a dreamer. So were my children. I love them dearly. Please, I must have an answer to my question. I want to ask you but one thing. What? Was he frightened? Did he go with a heart filled with fear or with hope? I don't think he was afraid. Oh, that's good. I think he felt abandoned. I think it wouldn't have taken much to keep him here, safe in Navalis. But it took a lot of work to convince him to go, didn't it? I don't expect you to understand. I understand just fine. Enjoy your journey. It'll be over before you know it. Wow. Uh, lady, uh, you wanna... Pashta is trying to send you a message. Well, put her Look through. Look over this railing. I am trying, but she keeps hanging up on the call. Well, send her a call request. Calling. 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 Can you stop saying that? Play a ringtone or something. This is very awkward. Calling. What kind of ring? Calling. Tone would you like? Calling. To choose. Why isn't she answering? She has not activated the comm, but according to your apartment sensors, she is currently activating and deactivating the light inside the refrigerator. Damn it. Put me on the speaker. You are now transmitting. Pashta, listen to me, okay? I'm coming back to the apartment. Just try not to mess with anything. I guess I should have shown you how to use the comm. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Do you think Pashta is okay? I think so. We left her alone. I am aware of that, Camus. Maybe she is not good when she is alone. It's possible. Damn it, I'm not good when I'm alone. We'll check in on her. She'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. Should we bring her something? Like what? Water. Our home automata says our water ration is low. We have enough water to drink, though. Good water? Yeah. Well, grade three comes out of the faucet, and it should be fine for most. 
Maybe we should get her better water. She's probably used to grade one. It might take her a while to get used to the impurities down here. We could go to a store. It's on our way. Maybe. What if she really needs us, though? We might be wasting time. Yeah, I mean, that, that's just... what. Why would we get five bottles of water? It seems like we are mostly getting it for ourselves, though. You guys, good time? What are you looking for? Because we think it's Thanks. gonna be what she they wants. Come back anytime. They didn't exactly say, oh, bring all the water you can get. I mean... No, fuck that. She's not getting overpriced water. Life Corp. Become She's got... Perfect. She has to get used to this. Uh, even if... She, well... Hopefully she uh, is not killed by the mob. I mean, I left her for like an hour, I, I suppose. Are you dead already, Pashta? You little shit, why didn't you answer me? You're not even gonna talk to me? Help Pashta in your apartment? Pashta, what's wrong? Why did you call me? I didn't think you'd come back. What? I'm here. I didn't do it wrong. It must be broken. What's broken? The ice cream machine. It's not my fault. That's not an ice cream machine, Pashta. That's a faucet. And you've used most of our water ration. We get charged a fortune for that. I told you. It's not my fault. What? You little shit. Look, things are probably different. Way different here than they were in your old apartment. The clothes replicator is broken. It's not broken. We don't have one. It's... It's going to be hard on you for a while, till you adjust. I'm not spoiled. It's okay, you were, but only in some ways. All the ways. Spoiled with things, but not with affection. Not oh. from what I saw of Rio, anyway. I can't give you those same things you had before. Do you understand? Yeah, I guess. But I'm not going away. I won't let anyone take you away if you don't want to go. I don't want to go. Then there's nothing you to worry that about. Obvious. Now, can you read these screens on the front door? I'm gonna bring up some instructions for you. They'll tell you how to do stuff. Wash, open the window filters, call me on the comm, basic stuff. Just read them carefully. Can you do that? Yeah. All right, well, I have to go back to work, but my shift will finish in a little while. You should get some sleep too. I'm not tired. Then don't sleep, you're in charge. Oh, okay. When I come back, we'll do something fun. After I get some sleep. All right, well, I'll see you soon, okay? It is nice to see you again, Pashta. I am excited to talk later. How come I can hear Camus? Isn't he a car? He can transmit through the comm when I'm home. Really? Hi, Camus. I'm going to stay home and look after everything till you come back. That's good, but this isn't home, Pashta. Remember that. It is it's home. It's just where we live right now. No. I understand. Well, we can still call it home. Okay, Pasta, I, I have the option to buy a food dispenser, but I'm not gonna do that, though. I mean, we know peasants here. 14 FC, we need you to get out of that area fast. Why? Why? An undernet pulse? It's a root level data surge through the network. It pings back to your location, affiliation. I guess, uh,. We gotta protect the car. Just a never-ending mission. I like this. I like that Pashta is so unlikable. Cargo. <laughs> you have to get out of Midtown. Avalon Heights should be safe. I'm not carrying any cargo. It's not about deliveries, kid. If the pulse hits you, Cloudpunk will get hit with a fine. We only have a license for five Havas in this zone. So? You're number six. They already got the rest. How much time do I have? Not enough for questions. Go. Understood. Ah, that's cool. We got a minute to, to leave. Oh, crap. We're going the wrong way. Okay. I like that she's unlikable, because most of the time when it comes to kids in games, 
they are just just paid super mature way beyond their years way way wise wiser than their, their years and uh and i suppose that makes them compelling but also unrealistic like if you just want a character like that i mean you can have a, like a special kid but oh crap i don't think we're gonna make it 16 seconds i mean you can you can have that but is pasta one i don't think pasta is that that special no offense good hustle kid we're gonna process your bonus and we relocated one of our drivers to run the slums from now on no oh, no we can't take the hit of another corpsec fine that's a demotion right well, for him for you it's an opportunity don't blow it yeah so what's next we have a call it is from william who the cleaning android, remember? Right. Should I put him through? No. No. What if it is important? It's only ever bad. What is he going to say? Like, oh, my my sweet job is not working out. Or maybe he's just going to brag about it. Hey, peasants, guess what? I'm living the high life. When was the last time someone messaged us on the comm and things didn't get worse? Well, there was no. Come on. Hmm. Did he say what he wants? No. The message request says urgent. Fine, put him through. I need you to come back to Avalon Heights. These people have gone crazy. What do you mean they've gone crazy? You know what? Don't answer that. This has nothing to do with me. This is a dilemma. I know not who else to ask. And I care not for your dilemma. I shall pay you. I'll simply raise the rent for all my residents. Your usual Cloudpunk delivery rate, but paid in full to you. This will be just between us. And what do you want? Wait, you're a vacuum cleaner. How can you raise the rent? Much has changed since we last spoke. It certainly sounds like it. I need you to come to my spire. Once here, I require no more of you than to flick a switch. And I'll get paid for that? Yes. I'll get my switch flicking finger ready then. We gotta buy some water because apparently it's still a mission. Here's what I can offer you. What? Overpriced water. Thanks. I look forward to. S I bought water for pasta. I guess we gotta take back. Take it back to Pashta. That water was pricey. Yeah. All right, let's get back to Pashta with her premium water made from fresh diamonds. It is made with... I'm exaggerating, Camus. At least I got rid of that mission. So anyway, uh, helping William is the next uh, stopping point. But for now, guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.